I'm going to start this video right in front of Seoul Station. Uh, up in your uh, upper left corner of the screen there, you might see the new uh, modern sign. And then over there to our right front is the old Seoul Station. We're passing uh, in front of it here to give you a good orientation. Uh, this is all about how to get in front of the Millennium Hilton, as I call it, Destination Millennium. Going to be coming north here on uh, Highway 21. The left-hand roads uh, will take you continuing northbound on 21. And in another video, I show how to take the uh, alley shortcut, so to speak, and go up in that direction, staying to the right of uh, this overpass here, to uh, take the alley. However, you may not want to uh, travel uh, that way, so I'm going to show you the, uh, the regular highway that allow you to uh, get there. Uh, just a little orientation as we're looking at the back of the 202 bus here. And if you haven't noticed the buses here in uh, Seoul, uh, the color of the bus designates the kind of uh, route it takes. Uh, blue, green, red, and I think there's a fourth color, but check it on the internet as far as what goes. Oh, here's a nice thing I can point out for you. As an alternative to driving, you can take the subways. For example, uh, here we have the Seoul Station, uh, stop number 133, and that's what a typical subway station looks. And if you'll look very closely, you can see the uh, number 5 there uh, in English as well as in Korean. And it's important to know your exit number because a station could have up to 8 or 9 different exits. And it makes a world of difference which exit you take when you leave the subway station for your convenience of getting your next destination. What we're doing, we've uh, passed the, uh, and I didn't point it out to you, but on your right, uh, directly opposite Seoul Station, is the uh, Daewoo building. And you want to make note of this sign right up here, where it's indicating Namsam Park, where we need to sort of double back after we circle around this historic uh, gate here in Seoul. Unfortunately, it was uh, burned uh, earlier this year, set on fire by a homeless man who I think got 10 years in prison for uh, destroying this national uh, treasure. It's not a religious sign, uh, it's uh, more of a national treasure because it survived all the wars and turmoil that's occurred in Seoul over 900 years and uh, you can see it directly ahead or at least you can see the construction barriers that they have around it as they uh, conduct the restoration give you a sort of a view of it and maybe when you're watching this video they'll have restored it because it's a national treasure and landmark. It's uh, really quite a calamity and loss uh, for the Koreans uh, when it was burned. And we're going to scoot around here just uh, going around here to the right, bear to the right and double back because uh, the problem with uh, getting to the Millennium Hilton is uh, your access. And it's a bit uh, convoluted here, but if you've managed to uh, just drive around in front of the Seoul Station northbound, uh, we're heading uh, almost due south right now, going uphill because the Millennium is on a hill. And we've got another stoplight here. Now you might want to again watch the uh, other uh, video where I show uh, taking the little alley exit. Uh, all the taxi drivers take that. A little another point of reference here on the mountainside. A bit hard to see in the yellow sand, the Asian dust that's blowing in. It's particularly bad today here in early May 2008, uh, but that's the uh, Seoul Tower. And at night uh, it's uh, really quite the view of uh, Seoul with all the lights on and and so forth. So if you can make that I'd encourage that. Also uh, if you want to get uh, some good exercise, you can uh, pick up a little uh, map, a uh, jogging, walking map here at the uh, Hilton and uh, help navigate your way to uh, Namsung Park uh, on Saturday and Sunday. It's quite a bit. Now, we were just over in that direction. And I know it's a quick flash there, but uh, we were looking at the Seoul Station off there. And this is the Hilton coming up here on the right, as well as the Lucky 7 Casino. So, uh, 
And in another video, if you uh, elect to, to take a different route to get up here, uh, you would wind up uh, going through this part of Namsum Park directly in front of us in a counterclockwise move. And as these cars are coming down the hill from your left going to your right in the video, uh, they've uh, taken that route, so to speak, and uh, allows them to drive to the front of the door there. So there are several ways to get here, but the first time you do it, as I did, uh, I could see it, but I just couldn't seem to get to it. It was so frustrating until I uh, found these other routes and uh, had a bit of other driving here. So uh, we'll turn right here on red, I think, in a moment. It has been interesting driving in Korea, I must say. Uh, I, uh, here we go. We got the green, and we'll scoot up. And here's the deal. Okay. And we'll just turn into the uh, front door of the Hilton here. So that was relatively easy. A couple of lights, uh, a little congestion on the traffic, circle around the monument. There's your entrance to the Lucky Seven Casino. I'm not going to drive up in front. I don't need to get the car right in front, but this is the front of the Millennium Hilton here. So everybody's coming and going. Uh, another fun kind of thing here are the uh, flags that they have flying in front of the hotel because uh, they'll have the flag of uh, representing the country of each of their guests, so it's kind of fun to look at the flags and see how many you can recognize and realize that this is very an international cosmopolitan city. Well, I'm just going to exit right here, let this gentleman cross. And this is how you would exit to go back on 21 northbound. If you cannot go southbound, I've got a separate video to show you how if you wanted to. Oh, while well, I see the cop cars uh, passing, we mentioned uh, they all run with their light bars on all the time. So that's uh, getting some getting used to. You don't know when they're having an emergency. But as you can see, we've exited uh, from the front of the uh, Millennium. Uh, if I wanted to go to Seoul Station and Highway 21 North, I would turn right here. And as a matter of fact, that would... Uh, be a complete 360 where we started the video if I turn right. In this case, uh, my destination is to go south on 21, and I've got a separate video showing what happens after we get past uh, here. But I just wanted to primarily show you how to uh, go north on 21 until you uh, bear to the right and go around and uh, come up uh, across that uh, overpass that we did. So I uh, hope this helps you in your uh, driving and safe arrival at the Millennium Hilton in Seoul, Korea. Thanks for watching. Oh, by the way, watch your six.